hi guys assalamu alaikum welcome back to the channel or if you're new here welcome i'm really happy to have you here and i hope you join the community the topic of this video is something the younger me really needed or if i just searched on youtube i could have the answers but here we are alhamdulillah i'm here to share with you what you will need to do if you're still in high school but becoming a university or college student soon inshallah and also for those who are already in university. The video is gonna be divided into two sections. The first one is for those who are still in high school, what you should do and what to consider before choosing your degree, your university degree. And the second section will be for those who are already in university slash college. All right, so you're a high schooler, mashallah, and you're graduating soon. Before thinking about what degree you should pursue, you should know yourself. You should learn a lot about yourself, your talent, what you're interested in, what you're into, what you like or what you dislike. Students at this age don't fully know themselves, don't know what road they should take and it's really difficult times. I get it. I really get it. But those who know themselves beforehand win in higher education. Are you someone artistic? Or are you someone who's into maths and numbers and all those scary stuff? Or are you into books, into literature? Do you enjoy reading? Do you like reading journal articles? Do you like to write? Or well, can you write long essays and papers? Would you like to spend your college years researching about stuff? So many things to unpack here. You have to know in order to thrive in that degree you chose. This leads to the question, what type of career do you want to pursue? Start early and discover what you want to do that can lead to the career you want. Don't be like, high school stress me enough. I'm done with all this. I'm really tired. I finally graduated from high school. And eventually you're falling into the trap. Let me do whatever. Or let me just follow my friend. They're doing economics. I'm doing economics too. But are you sure you want to do economics? Do you know something about it? Are you comfortable enough to pursue that degree? Trying to just do whatever degree will not help you, and it's a trap. If you don't plan beforehand while you're still in high school, you really have a hard time studying a degree you're not passionate about. The question of what type of career you want to pursue can be tricky, especially in this age. But you don't really have to know the exact job title, except if you want to become a doctor, for example, or those jobs that they already have a specific schools. This video is mainly for university or college degrees. So you just need to know your passion lands where? What direction? Are you into education? Are you into finance, arts, or communications, or maybe business, etc. Once you decide on which one, see what degree could lead to the career you want. And make sure the career you want has presence, especially in your country if it's something you can step easily into. Not having enough information and just following a friend is one trap, but we have another trap here. The second trap is picking something because of its fancy title, for example, a doctor. Of course, that's just an example. I have a huge respect for doctors. It's something I would never think of doing. But yeah, let's take this example, a fancy title, or you just want to satisfy your family's expectations. And by family, I mean parents. Of course, our parents are our everything, but your future or your degree, what you want to study are yours and only yours. If you cannot pursue something or you have a different passion from that of your parents, try to explain to them in the right way and try to tell them, I'm not into that. I have a different dream. I have a different passion and try to convince them because as I said, your career and your future are yours. If what you want to do later in university or in college requires higher grades, be aware of that and work for it. Now, different countries and different degrees have their different requirements. So you should have enough information about yours and work for your grades. That way you have the advantage of choosing what you want and getting into what de any degree you want. Okay guys, the second section and it's for my university students or if you're becoming one very soon, inshallah, the section is for you. And here's a list of the things I'll be talking about in the following session. Let's start by your degree is not your whole life. 
So don't treat those years pursuing your degree as if it's a huge matter. Your degree is just a part of your life. So do not get used to stress and burnouts. That is so wrong and it will affect you negatively both during your studies and after you graduate. You'll feel like you lived 10 years worth of life instead of just three or four. You'll feel exhausted and not ready to search for jobs or do anything else after you graduate. Take care of your mental health. Yes, college is stressful. You get to do a lot of stuff by yourself. Your professor will not be the same as your high school teacher, so it does require you to be more responsible. As a Muslim individual, you have the advantage. Turn to Allah and rely on Allah and have trust in Allah in whatever you do, He's with you. You should believe that Allah is by your side and just do your part of the job. Do not abandon your deen. The opposite. Now you're growing, mashallah, and now it's the right time to be more closer to Allah and practice your deen to the fullest. And as a result, automatically you're taking care of your mental health. Also, your lifestyle should not be just studying. Try to be active and do some type of movement throughout your day. Walks are very helpful when you want to clear your mind and get rid of that stress, school stress, or you can do any sports you enjoy doing. Do not abandon your life just because you're in college. Hobbies. Hobbies are like salt and pepper in our life. Practice them. If you have a hobby that you enjoy doing, practice it. Do it and try to find the balance between your school work or your school life and doing what you enjoy, your hobbies. Of course, the priority would be for your school. But as I mentioned, do not abandon your life in what makes you happy. And this is leading to time management. Time management is a skill every college student should acquire in order to not fall behind. I cannot possibly tell you how to manage your, your day or your time because everyone has a different structure. So that's for you to figure out. But what I can tell you is that falling behind your courses is a very huge mistake you will find yourself spending double amount of time revising for your exams. So it's better to know how to keep track of your courses and your classes and make a schedule that can help you manage them all. In college, time management is key. In fact, time management is key in every aspect of your life. So make sure to learn that and make sure to not fall behind your courses. Because as I said, it's a very huge mistake and you don't want that. Next, do not compare yourself with other students. Every single one of them has a different way of approaching things, different stress level, different study techniques. You're unique on your own way, so avoid comparing yourself with other students and have your own pace. Be patient with yourself and just do you. You should not compare yourself with others, but you have to reach out to people and talk. I get that a lot of people get anxious making new friends and find it difficult to approach strangers and initiate conversations with them, but that is a crucial part of your university journey. Reaching out to others when you need help or when you have questions you want answers for will not make you appear weak or stupid. Asking those questions and trying to find answers will only do good for you and it actually will make you appear confident. So you really have to practice doing that. Like seriously, you should not be scared of asking, you should not be scared of reaching out for help. That is a very normal thing. Being in a group of friends, a good group of friends, is a plus, especially while in university. A time will come when you need help from somebody concerning materials, concerning notes, or if you could not understand something from your class. And even if you want to study together, do your assignments together to make this college life less stressful and less boring. And also if you want to motivate each other, you'll find a friend group to do that with. So make sure to socialize and make sure to make a good friend group who can bring the good in you and make you better as a person. And try to not spend a lot of time alone. We as humans are supposed to socialize and not stay alone all the time. And this is coming from an introverted who thought being alone is normal and it's a good thing. But it is not. You really need people around you in university or in college. And especially if you're moving out of your house or you're, you're moving abroad for studies, that is like seriously very important to have a group of friends. That will help a lot. Like seriously, making a group of friends is very crucial. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and you could take a little bit of tips and tricks on how to prepare for your university degree and how to live your university or college life. Thank you so much for watching and sticking around and see you next time. Assalamu alaikum.